Hello. It is Friday, which means it is time for Bulletproof Filter Free. And I am ready. I'm, oh, I'm ready for some, for some coffee and chit chat. Let's see who's here. We got Paige in the house. Oh, look, we've got Michelle and Charlotte and Lisa. Good morning, Amara and Taylor and Joni. Hello. Look at everybody here this morning. Somebody told me, somebody stopped me this morning. Do you love when people stop and tell you you look tired? <laughs> I have to say, you know, People, people love to tell me that, um, that I look tired. They really do. I, and, and, and you wonder, you wonder why that is because it's like, nope, nobody wants to hear they look tired, <laughs> but people love to tell you, don't they? T-G-I-F, T-G-I-F, what a week, yeah, um, oh, let's see, I, I'm trying to read these, and this thing is in the away, let's see, let's see, how do I get rid of this, yeah, you're like, duh, duh, I look tired, yeah, I know, <laughs> Okay, trying to keep up. Hold on here. We're going fast this morning. Um, tired, tired is just the way I look. Like from this point moving forward in life. I think tired is just a state of being. Tired is just the way it is. Um, oh, there's the dingling. We were early. How on earth did that happen? How did I get here prior to actually supposed to being here? That I don't know. Oh, Lindsay, I'm sorry it was the longest week. Hey, Lee. Hey, Mel. So, any Hoozle McToozle, we, it, we have reached Friday. It is a rainy Friday. Um, it looks like it's raining up in New Hampshire. It is overcast and cloudy here. Um, the meteorologists are calling for rain. We'll see if we actually get some. We had a little bit last night, but we need like a lot. Poor Florida is shriveling up, <laughs> shriveling up and may detach and fall off into the ocean. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, Holly, I hear strep is going around. I hope they get better soon. Sick of the rain, Susan. Oh, send it our way. We need it. We need it. Brittany says she needs it too. Oh, it's raining in Pennsylvania, New Hampshire. Okay, so hopefully we're going to be getting some soon. I feel it's just, it's for once, and, it, and, and that's the thing about Florida. Even though it's dry because it's not been raining, it's not like it's not humid. It's still disgustingly humid, but we just don't have the rain. All right, so I'm trying to think where to start because there are so many things that we could we could discuss today as we sit and fold our laundry and, and go about our business. But I just thought that I would share, um, and, and I don't know, this could be just my husband, the business manager. Um, this could just be him, and, and but, but I, I kind of feel like a lot of husbands are this way. And I don't know if it's because we make them this way, because we do everything for them. But <clears throat> last night, um, I, I was getting ready, you know, the, you know, the, the get ready for bed process, right? You know, the wind down, like time to, to, to shut the house down process, right? So last night we're, we're getting in, we had a late night because it was my mother-in-law's birthday. So we were, we had to go out to eat and, and of course it's a school night and, and it's, you know, the kids didn't go to bed till 930 and it, that's a late night. That's very, for, for children my age, that is a late night. So with that being said, um, we get in, I finally get everybody down. I'm walking through the house, I'm doing the shutdown routine, picking up crap, getting laundry into the washing machine to start for the so that I can run so I can switch it in the morning, making sure, you know, are there dishes in the sink? Are there blah blah blah? What's going on? And of course, I walk in and I see my husband dive into bed and grab the covers up. 
And he's all snuggled up and I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> what are you doing? Like, do you want to help me shut the house down? And he's like, no, I'm tired. I want to go to bed. And I'm like, well, so do I. And every night we have the same conversation. And every night I ask him, are you going to, are you going to help me, uh, are you going to help me clean up or shut down the house? And it's always, he's, and he's snuggled up in bed there. And so I look at the end of the bed and he had forgotten to put away his sneakers. Okay. And so I looked down at his sneakers and he, and I said, I would put your sneakers away if I were you, because Velma's going to eat those and you will not, those will not be here in the morning because Velma is a um, terrible shoe thief. Okay, she is a culprit, a shoe culprit like none other. And so he looks at me and he's like, well, are you going to hand me my shoes? And I'm like, no, I'm not going to hand you your shoes. And I'm not going to put your shoes away. So you can come over here. You can get your, your little butt out of bed. You can pick your shoes up and put them away. Or you can leave them for the dog. Okay? So he... I can't believe you're going to make me get out of bed. I've already gotten snuggled. I've already gotten snuggled. And I'm like, I don't care about your snuggles, okay? Get your butt out of bed and get your get your shoes. So what does he do? He crawls to the edge of the bed, picks up the shoes, opens up the shoe bin that's under our bed, shoves them in and shuts it. Then he takes my pillow. He takes my pillow and throws it off the bed and says, and says, there, now you go get that. And I looked at him, I was like, I don't know who you think you are. You've lost your mind. You are, you are, you have lost it, okay? So I, so that's last night, okay? That's last night, which is a, it's a daily thing. I don't know why we have the conversation. I know he's not gonna get up and help me shut the house down. I mean, it, 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 that's not going to happen. But so then this morning, as I'm cleaning up to try and because I have I have something I have to do tomorrow. I have to go out and get get some stuff done because I'm going to be traveling. So I have a bunch of crap to do. And so I knew I didn't want to clean the house tomorrow. OK, so I knew I didn't want to clean the house tomorrow. So I said, I'm going to take one for the team. I'm going to clean the house today and get it all done because I want to be able to go out and do I have to buy. I showed everybody last week or the week before my black flats that Velma had chewed on. Well, they're worse. Apparently, she got another one. So I, I have to go out and get an actual pair of black flats. It'll be my first time purchasing shoes for myself in probably like eight years in terms of some sort of a dress shoe or whatever. So anyway, so I get, I get, um, I, I get to clean it up. And I'm cleaning the house and I'm picking stuff up. And we have been um, we have been trying Dollar Shave Club because I always forget to buy razors at the grocery store, and I wanted to see if it was um, if they were good and and, it, and whatever. So we've been having them delivered to the house, which is great because they show up and I don't forget them. So I find the Dollar Shave Club pack at the end of the corner because it came in the mail yesterday or the day before, and I hadn't opened it. Okay, and so I look at it, and it's been like torn to shreds. The top is all torn off, like a T Rex had gotten into it. And then I open it, and I look in, <laughs> and I see the razor cartridge has come out, and there's a razor missing. There are only three razors in this four pack of razors. However, the cartridge pack had been put back in and left on the kitchen counter, which means this. My husband needed a razor this morning. He walked out to the kitchen, took a razor out of the cartridge packet, put it back into the mailer that it was sent in to our home, and left it in the kitchen because he didn't want to put it away in the bathroom. How on earth is that happening? How, in what, in what universe does that make any sense? to say, I'll just shove it back into this package instead of taking it into the bathroom. I, I sat there and I'm thinking to myself, did they send us three razors? No, I don't think so. This had plastic wrap on it. This was in a covered case. So I realized that he had simply just shoved it back into the mailer and left it on the counter, okay? So that has been, so, so 
A husband is just an eternal three-year-old. Thank you, Cheryl, you are correct. Um, but they're all the same, right, Terry? They're all the same. I could sit here and I could talk to you guys about this for hours on end and we would all say, yep, that's my husband. Yep, had that happen to me last week. Yep, this is what's been going down. And it's like, what on earth? I can't imagine opening something up and then shoving it back in the mailer package because it's like, meh, I know I'm using it. But I don't want to take the, the two, st I, and mind you, he had to go into the bathroom to shave. You couldn't walk them in with you? You're going to shave. I'm out. I'm out. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Apparently this is Heidi's husband as well. Because we know, Lynette, and you're right. Because they know we're going to take care of it. So what did I do this morning because I was annoyed and I wanted the counters cleaned off. And they're still not even clean. They're semi-cleaned off because the counters never get cleaned off. I went in and I put it away. And that's what I did because I didn't want it on my kitchen counter. So did he win? Pretty much. Did I talk about all of his ridiculous nonsense on the interweb? Absolutely. So I'm going to call this one a win-win. But he totally, it, it's because we are, uh, what's the word? What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? We're, um, we're, um, we don't, not appeasing them, but we're, uh, enabling. We're an, I'm an enabler. I'm an enabler. Okay. So it's my fault because I let him get away with it. Right. I do. I let him get away with it. So that was this morning. I just stood there and I thought to myself, no freaking way did he put the razors back in the original packing thing. But he did. But he did. So if you are an enabler, just go ahead. Nobody's looking. Nobody's peeking. Okay. Just raise your hand in the feed. Give us a little thumbs up. Give us a little thumbs up. Yes, I too am an enabler. Because I can't be the only one. I find it hard to believe that I'm the only one who's doing this. Um, we, it, it must be e epidemic considering the, uh, the uh, um, amount of, um, uh, amount, the, considering the topics that we have in here. I'm just going out on a limb and saying that there's a lot of enablers uh, in here. There we go. Everybody, we got the hand, Amber, <laughs> Tiffany, Amanda, we're together. Okay. I, I knew it. I knew I wasn't alone. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> oh, no. Somebody just said empty shampoo and soap containers. I threw out like six of those today between the kids shower and mine. And you know, it was empty. The Dove Men Care, which isn't mine. I use regular Dove. It was the Dove Men Care. And it was the, um, Razors that had been used. I was picking those up and throwing those out. So that's uh, that's BM for you. That's BM for you. There you go. There you go. Toilet paper on the roll. Oh, Holly, that will be. That's going to be somebody's murder case, right? Like, what made you snap? And it's going to be like they did change the toilet paper on the roll. And then it's gonna, that's it. And that's it because it's be. And you know what? And the judge is going to say justified. It's okay. If it's a woman, if it's a woman judge, she will say, justify. That's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Your husband leaves his retainer on the bed, on the counter, or in the kitchen? Oh, no. That, how does, how has he not lost it? That's crazy. That's insane. I can't imagine how he hasn't lost it. Okay, here's a really embarrassing story that I will share with you guys because why not? I tell you everything anyway. So speaking of retainers, I am missing a tooth. And I could not have said tooth replaced, okay, because it is a top tooth and it's um, too close to my sinus cavity, okay? So I can't have a fake tooth put in. So I have to live no tooth, right? So the option when you have no tooth up there is to get a bridge and it's called a um, flicker or a flipper or something like that. It's basically a tooth, one little lonely tooth that lives on this bridge that connects to the other two teeth and you pop it in and out, kind of like a retainer, okay? So you pop the tooth in and out. Well, I had... Um, 
I, and this was years ago because I've actually, it's been broken and I've not replaced it. So the little fake tooth that goes in my mouth, okay, I had put, there's a little dish that I had by my, by my bathroom counter for when I brushed my teeth that it sat in. One of my children, don't know which one, to this day, don't know which one did it, snatched up my flipper tooth, stole the flipper tooth. Well, I couldn't find it and I didn't want to tell the business manager that I had lost it because it's like, it was like $1,500 for this stupid, ridiculous fake tooth that I had to stick in my mouth. Right? So, um, I, I realized it's nowhere to be found. It's not in the bathroom. And so and then I'm thinking, well, I must've, I must've taken it out somewhere. Like not that I'm normally taking my teeth out in public, but I guess sometimes you have to. So I'm thinking, where did I put my tooth? Where's my tooth? Where's my tooth? So I'm running around the house. I'm looking for my tooth. I'm looking for my tooth. About three days later, I go to put on a pair of shoes and my tooth was in a shoe. So one of the kids had taken the tooth and shoved it into a shoe. And when I went to put my shoes on, I found the tooth. So you have to be careful with um, your teeth and other things that go missing around the house because um, that is a thing that happened. Now later, I, I, lost, or I broke said tooth. Um, I don't remember what I was eating, but I broke it, and I have yet to replace it. And they keep yelling at me because they're like, You're, all of your teeth are going to go crooked. And I'm like, probably. And then I'll probably have braces the same time my daughter has braces. <laughs> we'll just be braces twins. <laughs> like, because I don't, I don't have time for that, and I don't, I don't care at this point. It's not like my teeth are super straight anyway. So, any hoozle McToozle, that was um, – that's a fun story that, that you guys might not have known that I don't have a tooth. Um, well, I don't, yeah. And I had a, a fake tooth up until I lost said fake tooth. So our dog has eaten three sets of retainers. Jessica said, yes, yes, yes. Uh oh, Robbie Joe is in here telling people what the eggplant emoji means. How did we get on top of the eggplant emoji? Where did I miss that? Where did I miss that? Um, yeah, well, I wanted to get the implant, but I can't because it's too close to the sinus cavity. And they said that's really bad if you hit it. Yeah. So anyway, so so it was a it was a long week, per the huge, long week. And what can I help you with? I have one child home with me because my lactose intolerant child that thought it would thought it would be a great idea to. Um, eat a bunch of ice cream and and get get violently ill um because because we 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 sometimes allow children to make their own choices which was probably a bad idea on my part but um i said you know what's gonna happen it's gonna come out the other end and so it did so there you go okay i need you to go watch tv please while i finish up what i'm doing here Okay, and I will take care of you just as soon as I'm done. Can I have some chicken soup? I don't have chicken soup. Get out of here. All right. All right. Let's see. So what else do we got rocking and rolling? Let's see. Yeah, my sister borrowed my retainer and I never saw it again. You can borrow somebody's retainer? That can't possibly be true. Then well, how would it fit? There you go. Chantel says, I'm 32, needed implants. Like I said, I'm rocking braces. There you go. And if that's something that I have to do at some point, that's fine. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. I got, I got lots of other fish to fry going on. <laughs> yes, it is like the toilet video, whoever just said that. It absolutely is. It's nonstop toilet video. My life is toilet video. I know. Can I have chicken soup, she says. No, get out of here, kid. It's it's 10.15, and I just literally fed her breakfast 30 minutes ago. So, of course, she came in here to get food. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's right, Laura. I don't have chicken soup. Get out of here. I'm kind of busy at the moment with, with my ladies. <laughs> Let's see. Um, all right. So, we have, lots of, we have lots of blankets today in the laundry because – six-year-old um, slept with my 11-year-old and peed on him and said bedding. So there, we're, doing, we're doing pee sheets. Mm -hmm. Kelsey knows what's going on. We're having sec second breakfast before pre-snack, before, before pre-lunch. 
because that's that's how a child's um, that's how a child's um, uh, feeding schedule works, right? So it's like, well, you're gonna have um, morning snack, first breakfast, second breakfast, pre snack, snack, pre lunch, lunch, um, mid mid afternoon snack, second snack. And it's like, come on. They just, my husband swears up and down that he's going to put a lock on the pantry. He's yet to do it, but I wouldn't mind if he did because the amount of money I spend on groceries to keep them in snacks is crazy. So, you know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. Okay. Yeah. So, anyway, snack. Yes. Ugh to the snacks. Snack. Snack like it's, they snack like it's their job. When in reality, it's like, you don't have a job and you don't have any money. So stop snacking because you're not chipping in on the food bill. Kids, you're driving me nuts. Kids. So anyway, so um, I just wanted to remind you because I had gotten a bunch of messages and we hadn't done it yet. But um, I'm going to make a video about how I how I make my coffee in the morning bulletproof and I, I needed help to do it and I haven't had a chance to have the BM help me with it yet but that will be forthcoming but if you um but if you um want to see you can go to their website which if you click at the top of this there and I want you to head over and I want you to, to check it out because I have fallen head over heels in love with this coffee um, as I have told you, but that has the video is on there on how they blend and make their, their coffee. So you're going to want to check that out and I will get my own out, but the process is the same, you know, brew, um, butter blend, and then add whatever you add in and, and I'll show you what I add in, but you'll see there's there. Plus you get 10% off if you use my code Meredith 10 and, um, and then um, I wanted to, uh, I'll show you some other stuff next week that um, there are a bunch of other pro uh, products on their site that I've been using now. And I'll, and I'll show you next week when we're out of town. Because next week, next week is going to be a crazy week. So I'm, I'm really, really excited. I'm really, really excited. Next week, I get to go to the Mom 2.0 Summit, which by the way, thank you guys so much for voting. Thank you guys so much for um, for voting for the Today's um, Parenting Award. Thank you guys so much for um, being so supportive. Um, I got nominated for three Iris Awards and the Today Parenting Award. So I'm going to this conference next week, which I'm super excited about, uh, the Mom 2.0 Summit in Orlando. And then I'm, go I, I'm going to stream there. So we have lots of special guests coming on live next week. So just as an FYI, it's going to be really fun and exciting. Um, we are going to be sitting down with Kat and Nat, which you guys know I, Kat and Nat I, are hysterical. Um, Jessica, I don't, I won't know who, I won't know if I won anything until Friday night because that's the night of the awards. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Laura. Thank you. Um, thank you, Jenny. Um, so I, I will let you guys know. I will, believe me, I will be doing a late night live stream if I, if I win. Um, if I, if I don't, I'm going to be licking my wounds with a lot and drinking a lot of Prosecco. But either way, I'll probably be drinking a lot of Prosecco on Friday night. So anyway. So I will be live Wednesday night for Wine's Day with Kat and Nat, which is going to be so much fun. And then Thursday, I'll be over on their page. We're going to live. We're going to live stream with with their community. Then I think I'm also going to pop on with um, Deva um, cause from My Life Suckers because we're going to be there together. And then, um, you know, who, there's going to be so many different people. I'm going to grab anybody that I can that I know um, you guys would love to meet up with and, and see the, in the community. And I'm going to bring them over and um, we're going to uh, live stream. So it's going to be tons of fun. So you're not going to want to miss out on different things next week. So I will be doing regularly scheduled Mimosa Monday. Then I'll be doing Wines Day. Then we'll be doing Bulletproof Filter Free. But I'm also going to be on Cat Nat's page and my, my Life Suckers page. And so we're going to be all over the place. So you're not going to want to miss it. Um, there's going to be so much going on. And it's going to be so fun. And um, I'm all excited because I get to speak at the conference and talk about the the, all of the fantastic stuff that you get to do with live streaming, which you guys know is just my favorite thing, um, is live streaming. So they're going to, um, 
uh, they're going to uh, really, uh, ho hopefully everybody loves the session, but it's, it's really going to be fun. Will it play on my page? Yeah, what I'll do is when we're done, um, when we're done with the uh, stream, I'll share it to my page. So if you can't make it over there to their page for the live stream, I'll share it to my page afterwards. Um, uh, the, well, you can get a ticket if you want to come to the Mom 2.0 Summit, but I, I think they're sold out. Um, I don't know. Uh, I just, you can go to Mom Summit, the Mom 2.0 Summit website and see. What, you know, it's killing me that you're folding underwear? Come on, Holly. Who want, you want to see the undies? We got lots of undies rocking and rolling here. Lots of socks. Lots going on. You know, why not, right? Oh, and that's the other thing, too. So because I'll be in Orlando, yes, Lauren, we're going to do a meetup in Orlando, and it will most likely be Saturday morning. So I will let you guys know. I will go on, and I will um, find a spot in Orlando. And I will put it up on the page next week to remind you guys. But I will do a meetup on next Saturday morning in Orlando. Okay, so that will happen. Um, that will absolutely happen. Reminder, somebody just said it in there. Midnight Sunday night are the coloring contest sheets are due. And there's uh, you upload it to the site. So um, the winners of the coloring contest will get Mother's Day boxes. Okay, so you'll, it'll be first, second, and third place will win a Mother's Day box, which is a ton of fun. And then you can, um, those get uploaded by midnight, and I will announce the winner live Monday. Because once they go up on the page Monday morning, you guys get to vote. Okay? Yes, so it's going to be tons of fun. So there's lots of stuff going on. Next week is going to be um, very busy, but in a fun, fun, fun sort of way because uh, we'll have so much going on and we'll be all over the place. And um, it's just, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see everybody. Uh, Jennifer, that you should have gotten it in the newsletter. If you've not subscribed to the newsletter, you can go over to that'sinappropriate.com and at the top on the top of the bar, it says subscribe to the newsletter and enter the, for the coloring page. Yes, I will announce Lauren, the meetup and the place and the time. I'll get it picked this weekend. We just need to see where in Orlando makes the most sense to do it, and then we will post it up on the page, and I will remind you guys of it. I'll tell you on Monday, at Mimosa Monday, and I'll also put it on the page. Oh, good. Ashley says she's done with her coloring sheet, but their kids wanted their own. We could, um, Jacqueline, what brand of Prosecco do I drink? I drink a ton of cupcake. I do. Um, oh, Renee, you're going to St. Augustine next month? Yay, I love it there. Um, I drink a lot of cupcake. Um, but I also, I've also, I've drank a lot of Prosecco. I love Bellini. That's fantastic. Um, Rafino's pretty good. Uh, I, you know, I, I, I drink a lot of Prosecco. <laughs> mm. Somebody's kids are gone for the weekend. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, Cinnamon says she's 10 minutes from Orlando. Okay, well, you'll have to come. We'll be... I know, Andrea, the, kid, the kids, we should do a coloring contest one month where it's the moms and the kids or the dads and the kids, and then you submit. I have to ask the BM how we would do it where we submit it together um, so you know, like, that they're a pair, like it's a mom and a daughter or a mom and a son. We'll have to do that. We will. That'll be fun. So we'll get that done. Um, Mail. Mail you a coloring sheet, Pamela. I don't think I'll get there in time. <laughs> we, yeah, we got to think. The problem is, is when we first started this months back, people were using, if we didn't require you to print them out, oh, happy anniversary, Steffi. Um, we, people were using the, the online, like, coloring apps to do them, and they looked so great, but it was like, that's kind of an unfair advantage. So we, you need to actually print it out and color it. Yeah. Oh, Victoria, I, I feel you. By tonight, by tonight, I will um, I will open a bottle of Prosecco this evening before I dance it out. I surely will. All right, so if you want to check out, which I strongly su suggest you do, Bulletproof Coffee, the link is at the top. The promo code is Meredith10. That gets you 10% off your order. Plus, they have free shipping on orders over, I can't remember, but you can go on and look. And you also, you want to check out the video on how to make the coffee, but it is fantastic. And um, I will see you guys tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern for Dance It Out. 
and um, there's lots of fun stuff coming, guys. So stay tuned. And if you've not subscribed to the newsletter, do so. And if you haven't checked out this week's video, I reran the Mother's Day video from last year, and it's gotten really good reception. It's done well on the page. So check it out. And if that's what you want for Mother's Day, make sure to share it with your spouse and let them know. Go over there, tag your spouse in the comments and share it on your page. And you guys have an absolutely fantastic day. I will see you all tonight at 8. Bye, guys.